Yo, what's up, man? It's Cam bringing y'all another video, man. Hope everyone is having a great day, having a blessed day. Sit back, relax, get you a box of chocolates, and let's go ahead and hop into today's video, man. Today, I'm going to be talking about why you need to stop looks maxing. Now, if you don't know what looks maxing is, looks maxing is basically taking your looks to the height of its level, right? What I mean by that is you're making sure that you have the sharpest jawline that you possibly can have. You have the widest teeth you possibly can have. You are working out. You're wearing clothes that fit your body. You have a haircut that fits your body. All of these things. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about why you should stop worrying about that so much. And I'm not saying that you should just stop taking care of yourself, but what I am saying is that you need to stop being so involved in looks maxing, bro. And I'm gonna get to why, bro. Check this out. When I was back in, what year was that, man? I was in high school. I was like second or third year in high school, bro. I was, I, let's just say that my self-esteem was super low, super low. I mean, it was at the point where, you know, I just I just walked through my day just being self-conscious about how I look. You know what I mean? I had no confidence. You know, people would roast me for being ugly and stuff like that. You know what I mean? I would go home and quite literally look up how to become more attractive like, like you are right now i would literally look up how to be more attractive am i ugly am i attractive whatever how to get a nice smile all these things i would look up all the things that you're looking up right now and what i found was a lot of advice i was like oh you know you should wear these type of colors oh you should smile less you should smile more and you know regardless of whether or not these things were actually true none of it actually helped me at all and the reason why none of it helped me at all is because it was so on my mind that i have to upgrade my looks that it ended up with me even being more insecure the way that worked was when i was at school the next day after looking up all these tips and all that stuff you know what i mean every time i would go to school after looking up ways to increase my attractiveness I would be there and I would be thinking about the video I watched the night before, or I'd be thinking about the, the article that I read the night before that talked about, oh, if you do this, it's more attractive to the majority of women. If you do that, it's more attractive to the majority of women. And I would do these things and I saw no difference. I didn't get any chosen signals. No girls came up to me. Nobody noticed anything different about me whatsoever all that changed was that now i was thinking about it the entire day and i was self-conscious about it the entire day and what that probably did for me was actually make myself look even worse the reason why i probably looked even worse is because when you're insecure about things you tend to get these looks on your face like oh you 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 start looking around you know what i mean oh my gosh like are people seeing me people notice this you know what I mean? When you're walking down the halls at school and you're looking around and you feel nervous because you got a new look or something like that or because you're doing something different, you know what I mean? And you're not sure about how people are going to receive it and you start looking around and you start sweating. You get that, that sweaty feeling in your hands and on it. You know what I mean? You just start to feel sweaty and hot and stuff like that, bro. That shows to other people. They see that. You know what I mean? Now you're going on your phone, your head is down, you can't make eye contact with anyone because you're staring at your phone pretending to be busy when in reality you're not that busy. All you're doing is avoiding eye contact and avoiding other people because you're so self-conscious about it. And all you're doing is just thinking over and over and over again. Are people noticing? Are people noticing? Whatever, whatever, whatever. And this right here is exactly why you have to stop looks maxing, bro. I'm telling you, man, I was in a position, I was in the same exact position as you, bro. Like I literally thought I was the most ugly dude in the world, bro. I thought I was the most ugly dude in the world. Like I literally went through school feeling like, man, it's like almost like it's almost it would be a burden almost if a female came up to me. I thought that I would be a burden to her. I thought that it was literally going to take, bro, you know, you don't know how deep this stuff went, bro. Y'all don't really I feel like you guys don't really understand and grasp how down bad I was. No, like I literally thought that I was going to have to lose my V card to a prostitute. I thought that I was going to have to go find me a girl to pay to smash me, bro. That is how down bad I was. I literally thought that I was going to be alone forever. And part of that was, you know, just me, myself. I used to be a very reserved and shy and quiet person. I was a very passive person. I, I, I allowed people to put things in my head. You know what I mean? Um, 
people would, you know, roast me, make fun of me because I had nappy hair, you know, and part of it was that I didn't take care of myself the best. But, you know, I was in high school. You get acne sometimes. You, you got nappy hair sometimes. You don't even have a car. All these things. And, you know, people would roast me all the time. And I was, I guess I was a little bit sensitive. I took these things to heart and it really just changed my mind about myself, really. You know what I mean? But it's not even just in high school. I remember back in middle school, they was doing the same things, bro. They was doing the same things. There was this one time, bro, where we had a, a middle school dance and we was in line for lunch. And there was this girl behind me that I knew. And she said, hey, can I cut you in line? And I said, no. And she said, well, if you let me cut you in line, then I'll dance with you at the dance because I know nobody else will. And that hurt me, bro. And that stuck with me. And I feel like that might have been really the beginning of my self-esteem issues, bro. Like she literally said, you well, you know, nobody else is going to dance with you. But if you let me cut you in line and get to this pizza earlier, then I'll dance with you. And that hurt me. And the craziest part is I think I did let her cut me in line, bro. I was just such a passive and soft guy that I allowed people to get into my into my head, bro. But it didn't matter how much looks maxing I tried to do. It didn't matter how much I looked up things to do to, to be more confident. None of it ever worked because it just made me more insecure. And that's the same thing that's going to happen to you, bro. You look up all of this advice on how to be more attractive and stuff like that. You know, the, the, the mewing, the... You know what I mean? Wearing certain colors, making sure that your hair is on point. These are all things that you should do. They're good on paper, but the problem is that you just can't think about them over and over and over again, bro. Like for real, bro. Like I'm rooting for y'all to really get your looks up. But what you can't do is think about it too much. And that is such an underrated part of attractiveness. The more you think about trying to be attractive, the less attractive you will actually come out to be. Because the less you're thinking, the less stress is on your face, the less stress that you look, right? The more relaxed you look, the more appealing, the more attractive you look, the more people want to approach you. I wouldn't want to approach somebody that doesn't look confident in themselves. I wouldn't want to approach somebody that doesn't look like they are, you know, secure with themselves. So if you want to get the most attention from women, if you want more friends, whatever, then you have to be more secure with yourself, bro, for real, right? And that starts by not just you doing things to be more attractive, but it starts by changing your mind to realize that, yes, bro, you are okay. You're worth it, bro. You are probably going to find a girl one day. As much as I sit up here and say, you know, you are, hey, look, man, it's, it, the, the dating game is tough. Don't listen to all that, bro, because chances are you're probably going to find somebody in the near future. Everything is going to be okay. But even if not, you have to learn how to go through life being more accepting. Acceptance is one of the keys to life. I want you to do this exercise, right? Start living life like you know for a fact that you will never, ever get a girlfriend. If you knew for a fact, in fact, imagine women and, 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 and dating and all that stuff. Well, not necessarily women. Imagine dating didn't exist and we were all just human beings living on earth. How would you live? And focus on that. Focus on your enjoyment while you're here. Again, that doesn't mean just let yourself go. That doesn't mean don't go to the gym. That doesn't mean don't wash your face and all that other stuff. You have to do those things, right? Not just necessarily for other people, but for yourself as well to help keep your self-confidence up, right? But imagine life where dating doesn't exist, where you don't have to impress a girl. Really focus on the things you enjoy. What are you passionate about? Because see, that's one thing that I wish I could do. If I could go back to high school, man, I would tell myself, man, forget trying to impress people. Go and do what you like. Go and do what you love. And the craziest part about it is that when you start living life that way, people are going to be more attracted to you. Girls are going to be more attracted to you for this because they're going to see the confidence oozing from you, bro. I am telling you, this is a fact. This is a fact. Now, another thing too, when you start living life like this, carefree, not caring about trying to impress others all the time, but still taking care of yourself and just being confident and literally just doing whatever it is that you desire to do. When you start living life for yourself and focusing on your enjoyment of life, people are also going to start hating on you. You want to know why? It's because guys like us that gain confidence and stuff like that, people don't like us. People hate people that are confident. People don't like people that are insecure. And when I say don't like, I mean, 
they when they when someone sees you and they see that you're not an insecure person and that you're this confident person yes they will be more attracted to you they will approach you more but you will probably also face some people that are like, man, I am jealous of what he has. I am jealous of the fact that he is not insecure. I am jealous of the fact that he can be so confident, not knowing that they too can do it themselves. But there is literally a war on confidence. As soon as you see a little bit of confidence, they automatically squash it out. And when you see them squashing it out, it's like they're they're encouraging you to go back to your old and insecure ways. You see this, you know, in, in, in school, at work, you know what I mean? That's why you got bullies and all this other stuff. Bullies stem from people that are so insecure with themselves that they feel like they have to bully somebody. They feel like they have to beat up on somebody. You know what I mean? You ever see you ever see people in school or work or just people around you that will always talk bad about a specific person? It's because they're jealous of something that they have. When people see other people with something that they have that that they don't have, right? They're going to start looking for anything bad about you, right? If if, if I'm a confident person, people are going to start looking for anything bad to say about me because they don't if they don't have the confidence, if they're not secure with themselves, these things are going to happen. We even see it. Bro, we even see it in the media. The media, all they want to promote is you being messed up. This is the first time, or not the first time, but why is it that our generation, we watch shows where the more messed up you are, the more cool you are. I mean, look at Euphoria, which is, I'm just going to use Euphoria as an example because it's one of the most popular shows right now. You know what I mean? Why is it that the most messed up, weird, deranged people that feel like they can swap you know, they're, they, 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 they gender and, and they feel like they can just take all these drugs and, and, and just be okay. You know, they got all these daddy issues and they just messed up. Why are the most messed up people who have the most internal issues considered the coolest? Why is there no strong male character on Euphoria that's straight? Why can't it just be somebody that's okay, that ain't really got no deep issues like that? That doesn't feel the need to impress others all the time. That doesn't feel the need to conform to peer pressure. Yes, we understand these things happen, but why are these things being glorified? See, that's what I'm telling you, man. There is a very small subsection of men that are becoming more confident and they want to squash it out, bro. There's already an attack on masculinity and we understand that, but not on, they're not stopping there. They are attacking confidence in general. They want all of you to be insecure. It's time for us to literally rise up against that and say, nah, I'm tired of being insecure. I'm tired of y'all telling us, oh, it's okay. We should just accept you having so." That's why I don't believe in social anxiety. And I used to have it. I used to have it. I still even get flare ups sometimes. I still even get flare up sometimes. So why? What like like that's I don't I don't believe in none of that. I don't believe in none of that because I believe that we should instead of accepting every single flaw that we have, we should instead attack the flaws that we have, and we should accept the struggles that we face. We should accept. I accept the fact that people struggle with anxiety. I struggle with anxiety sometimes. I accept that, but what I won't accept is defeat to anxiety. I will never identify as an anxious person, just like you should never identify as a weak or an ugly or an unattractive person, no matter what, bro. no matter what anybody tells you. Always struggle against, always fight against because most people out there don't want you to win. They don't. They want you to stay in this low state because they want somebody to be the butt of the joke. They want somebody to pick on. It's time to rise up, fellas. All right, that's all I got for y'all today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Love y'all. I'm out of here. Peace.